Ooh. Wow. And here we have outfit number two. Very holiday sweater and even matching socks. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you my instant ramen cupboard. Oftentimes, one of the most effective ways to get your company to potentially give you a raise is to go out and get another offer. Cheers to another Thanksgiving. Thanks for Cheers. hosting. Cheers. Of course, thanks for coming over. Thankful for Thanksgiving. you. Thankful. Thankful. Aww. Thankful. Mm, this is so good. Good morning, everyone. Today is actually Thanksgiving Day, and I just woke up and made myself a nice glass of iced coffee. Today is actually Thursday still, so that means an episode of ABG needs to be uploaded, and this week is my week to upload. So my plan today is really just to, you know, finish up some ABG work, upload the episode, and honestly, um, I'm having a very, very low-key small thanksgiving gathering i'm having two of my really close friends come over uh you might know them jason and justin the j-rod twins but i actually celebrate thanksgiving with them a lot so i am originally from norcal but i'm staying in la i stopped going home for thanksgiving since college because thanksgiving break and then christmas break there was not much time in between so obviously my mom's like don't spend money on a ticket just wait till christmas so Ever since then, I just always done my own thing for Thanksgiving. Or actually, you know what it is? Usually for Thanksgiving, my family and I like to travel, so we're usually in Taiwan or somewhere else. So I'm never in the US actually for Thanksgiving. Uh, but this year, I just wanted to do something really small. Honestly, I was like this close to just getting some takeout and just having a solo celebration, but Eh, decided, you know, why not we just do something small and simple. So today, after I finish work, I wanted to make it a little bit festive because even though it's just the three of us, I wanted to make it look a little nice, you know? Um, I'm gonna just kind of do a little decorating and prepare our light dinner today. Um, all right, so I have a couple hours before I really need to uh, start getting ready for Thanksgiving. It's only one o'clock right now, so I'm gonna chill because I finished all my work and I'm going to watch my name. Okay, I set the table for three. Um, I did a little bit of like, a, I guess like Christmas fall inspired um, centerpieces. Wow, I see the camera. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> can't be candid. <laughs> Holy cow. So fancy. Want to do something, you know. Just, it's simple, wow. it's wow. too. It's kind of nice when it's just like a few people. Then right. you can wow. just <laughs> this is so cool, I feel like a chef. So you go like this, and then you do a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It smells good too. And then you just do that, and then it just turns into, I want to do like a random shape, like a heart. Oh. What the hell is that? Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Justin made the gravy. This tastes weird. I'm gonna taste test it. It's a little slimy. I don't know if it's supposed to be this. Is that what gravy looks like normally? I don't. Tastes <laughs> like baby food. <laughs> How do you sprinkle this? I'm scared. What are you making right now? I need to put the green onion. Here. Careful, careful. I don't, don't want your sides. I'm scared, Jason. Just go. Oh, God. You need more. It's okay. Maybe we could have brought it out and sprinkled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that crunch. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's a potato chip. All right, we're gonna bake it for like five more minutes and we're good. Yay! Should have shook it. I love how this is becoming our thing, like Thanksgiving dinner. Tradition. Here's, here you go. While we're all single. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers to another Thanksgiving. Thanks for Cheers. hosting. Of course. Thanks for coming over. Thankful for you. Thankful. I'm thankful for you. Thankful. Aww. Thankful for life. Yeah. <laughs> and thankful, I'm thankful for the fried chicken there. Oh, yeah. That too. No turkey, just chicken. Oh, my oh God. so good. Ooh, there we go. And the mood. Is complete. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 
knife. Okay, let me get you forks. I don't have any forks. <laughs> We're gonna eat with a knife and a spoon. We're gonna eat with our hands like savages. <laughs> Alright. The Asian American dinner. Look, I bought the croissants with chopsticks, I bought the gravy with chopsticks, mashed potato with chopsticks. Yum. Should we eat? Let's eat. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, here's our dinner. We got the fried chicken, coleslaw, croissants, we got some kimchi, gravy and casserole, mashed potatoes. And we're all here enjoying. Yeah. So excited. Popeye sauce. Sweet heat sauce. Then of course the last minute addition by Mel. Kimchi from Yum Dong Kilja. My favorite. Yum. Hi everyone. I am visiting my parents for Thanksgiving. Uh, did the drive from LA to Orange County. God, traffic. But I made it. Um, and I wanted to share with you all something that my mom does often, and I wonder if you all can relate. Um, she loves TJ Maxx. And every time I come home, she'll buy me a bunch of stuff. And right now it's the holiday season, so they've got some interesting attire. I'm gonna try these on and share them with you guys. Okay, here's outfit one. <laughs> I got some awesome brown leggings and Gotta love the holiday sweaters at TJ Maxx. And here we have outfit number two, very holiday sweater and even matching socks. And here is another outfit. Gotta get that lovely brand in a super bright magenta hot pink color. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, these maybe not the most like in the fashion that I would wear, but uh, when I was younger, I used to always be like, okay, mom, thank you for buying me clothes. Um, and as I've gotten older, it's actually very heartwarming to me <laughs> that she does that. Uh, I wanted to share actually a particular item that she got is a purse. So this is from a while ago where she looked at my, my bag that I had um, that I was like holding my laptop and she's like, oh, it's like breaking apart. Let me get you a new one So she bought me one from TJ Maxx, but it was leather and I was explaining to her like I don't really I'm trying to avoid using like animal um, Leather and so she went all the way back and got me this one and said, you know, I looked at it and it was animal free leather um, so it's not exactly my style, but to me, it's really sweet that she knows that that matters to me and went all the way back to do that. What are you making? Yeah, Xin Xiao and Su Bao. So this is a cold dish. Cold dish. And yeah. it's pickled, pickled uh -huh. radish. What else is in there, mommy? Apple. And there's apple cider vinegar in it? Apple cider vinegar and salt. Oh. Yeah. Balances out the right. royally foods. Uh -huh. <laughs> Balance that, that uh, cholesterol. What is that? Oh, this is a special extra XO sauce. This is my contribution. Ah. Um, currently it is Saturday and I'm heading out for my friend Tim's birthday. Um, Janet, Helen, all our friends will be there. Tim's a really good friend of ours. You could catch him actually on an episode of ABG where we talk about the difference between, you know, being a man in your 20s versus 30s. And he did that episode with Phil, who he also grew up with. But yes, tonight heading to downtown. I'm wearing a crop top from Aritzia. These are pants that are a little too tight from ASOS. And I got this jacket from Oakenford. I just like dig into like Matrix. So I went for an all black look and wearing a Ana Luisa uh, necklace and uh, earrings I got from Night Market in Taiwan. We got the, hello, it's Tim and Mimi. Can you show us your outfit, birthday boy? Wow, who are you? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, Tim. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Good morning. It is the Sunday after going out for our friend Tim's birthday. I feel like I need instant noodles because usually after a night of drinking or whatever, I like to have something warm and soupy. Um, I have a little like life hack when it comes to eating noodles. I actually can't finish a whole pack sometimes in one sitting. And I do think I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthier and instant noodles are packed with sodium, which I do love. But what I do instead is actually I take the instant noodle and I break it in half. So here's my second half of my shin ramen and I'll throw in more like veggies and eggs just to balance it out. So I'm gonna make this for my lunch. Do you guys have any hacks when it comes to like cooking instant noodles? I love ramen, so just let me know. All right, as I wait for my water to boil, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you my instant ramen cupboard. So me and my housemates love instant noodles and we like to try different kinds and we do stock up the ones we do enjoy. So let me show you real quick. My roommate Dar is so good at organizing. She bought these really great kind of like these little uh, containers. I thought I'd show you my favorite instant noodle. This is my favorite instant noodle brand. It is called Mom's Dry Noodle and I always get the flavor Sichuan spicy. The texture of these noodles looks just like this. It feels hand-pulled, it's chewy, it's thick, it's so good, and it's dry style. So if you guys something, if you guys like the kind of like mala peppercorn flavor, this is really great. And these are a little bit more expensive, like this pack, I think it's like $8, but worth it. Another instant noodle brand that I really started enjoying, that I think my roommate got is, I like this brand a lot. It's a little lighter, it is the Sapporo Ichiban Tonkatsu Ramen, but we get it in white chicken broth. I just think it's the perfect, like, simple instant noodle that you could add whatever you want to it, and it just feels not too heavy. Um, so this is one I really like. All right, this isn't, like, instant noodle, like, soup noodle. I've been eating a lot of, like, soba noodles lately. So I was talking to my uncle, who actually lived in Japan for 10 years, and I was telling him, like, I love noodles, but I definitely feel like I eat too much noodles. I want to, like, be a little bit more... I guess health conscious, and it is about balance. He recommended me to try soba noodles, so I've been eating this a lot. It feels a little healthier. Sometimes I saute it with sauce, or like I throw it into soup. Yeah, mostly soba noodles instead of rice. Okay, so today is definitely like an instant noodle um, hodgepodge. So what I like to do is I like to look in my fridge and see any leftovers I can throw into my noodle soup. So let me see real quick. Found leftovers, and also you cannot forget about an egg. So let me grab an egg as well. And here's my little piece of noodle left. You know, I like to throw my instant noodles in a bowl, but today I was like, F it, let's just eat straight out from the pot. Here is the final product and lunch. I got my noodles. I have leftover um, dumplings from this weekend, which I went to Myeongdong Kyoja, which is amazing. They definitely exploded in the microwave. And they have the best garlic kimchi y'all like this is the best pairing for like anything it's super garlicky so i thought it'd go really well with my instant noodles i want to say thank you to those who left comments in our last video where i shared a little bit about what is going on in my head and in my feels with the journey of dating you know dating is never easy Maybe it is for some people, I don't know, but um, it's definitely always a challenge, I think, to balance matters of the head with matters of the heart, especially when you have, you know, a goal in mind. I'm wondering for anyone who's dating uh, a partner where they're both really busy with work or they're very focused and maybe they have very busy schedules, how do you make time for each other? I think there are a lot of different couples who do this differently, um, but it's something that I am trying to kind of like figure out is how do you schedule things? How do you manage like planning dates? Do you take turns? Uh, is it addressed? Does one person generally do it and the other person has like a different way that they bring something to the relationship? Uh, just something that I'm curious about and I'd love to hear how other people are doing it. Anyone who want to answer my question, if you do it down below, I would appreciate that. And now I'm going to answer one of your questions. The Dear ABG for this vlog comes from Kay, who is 26 and from New York City. This question is about career and work. Kay wants to know, how do you go about negotiating a raise? 
Is it acceptable or normal to negotiate when you receive a promotion or is it only expected when you're changing jobs? I've been working at my current job for a couple of years now and didn't take the opportunity to negotiate my salary when I got promoted, which I really regret. I still feel somewhat new to the corporate world and I'm unsure how to navigate this conversation with my boss. Any advice? Negotiating raises. Oh, this is a nerve wracking topic. I think anytime it comes to demanding or asking for a bump in pay for the work that you're doing, it can be a scary conversation to have, especially if you're new to the corporate world. What I would suggest is, generally speaking, raises are given when you are promoted and or at the beginning of the fiscal year, generally speaking. But if you have already been promoted and um, a pay raise was not given at the time, some tips I would have for you are to sit down and write out like, what are the things that you're doing differently now than you were previously before you had the title change? And then you can use that as supporting evidence for why you should be paid more because you're contributing more to the company. Uh, I would also do your research to figure out how much more or what the actual amount is that you are aiming for. I have used Glassdoor, but there are other resources as well. And another tip I would have is oftentimes one of the most effective ways to get your company to potentially give you a raise is to go out and get another offer for the same type of work and the same type of role. And if you come back to your company and you have that as evidence that there is another company out there that is willing to pay for that amount, that's very convincing. Now, of course, the approach that you take is gonna depend on the company you're at and the industry you're in, but those are a couple of tips that I have found useful in my experience. I hope that helps, Kate, and wishing you the best of luck. Hi, everyone. It is currently Thursday night, or as I like to call it, Friday Eve. And I'm about to record some shout outs for next week's episode. Um, so at ABG, what we do is we have a form, and when someone submits a shout out, it gets pumped out into this Excel doc. Helen, Mel, and myself will go in um, and select the ones for that week. So that's a system that we have for um, getting shout outs from all of you who are listening uh, to us so that we can record them and then put them back out on the podcast to all of you. Uh, so I'm gonna do some recordings now. Here are some shout outs from our listeners today. From Anna to Susie in Los Angeles, shout out to Susie for being two classes away from finishing her paralegal studies.